time before time existed, God was sitting around and just kind of thinking, just like, wow, so many possibilities. A lot of possibilities. A lot of possibilities. Okay. <laughs> Bunch of energy just, <laughs> just exploded out. Because God said, yeah, okay, I've considered the possibilities. I'm going to do it now. Imagine Big Bang. You're talking about? Hmm? You're talking about Big Bang. Yeah, Big Bang. I'm going to do it. You know, and this is before time, so how long did God think about that? <laughs> before time. You know, and well, we can ask the question, why does God exist? <laughs> you know? Yeah. Who knows? You know, that, that is a true mystery. Why does God exist? Why do we exist? That is not a mystery. Why does God exist? That is a very perplexing mystery. Because, you know, it really doesn't apply that all of this is a dream. And where did this dreamer come from? Why is this dreamer dreaming? That is a very interesting question. I don't have an answer to that. Because, you know, God is like, I am, I exist. Okay. We'll take it as well. Cool. You know, obviously you do. Obviously you do, because I'm here, reality is here. So that's obviously a true statement. I guess we don't need to go beyond it. So, God, all this energy just flies out. And what does it start doing? It starts going through geometric permutations, you know, and the whole universe is working at the same time because it's a fractal. But by the way, did you know that according to the latest theories that all of quantum physics can be explained according to fractal mathematics? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just like a couple months ago we came up with that. So that's sweet. I didn't see that. Okay. Yeah? Uh, um, so anyway, all the energy is permeating out. Everything's forming. Everything's forming. And you know, what's the simplest energetic structure? Anybody know? Raise your hand. Simplest energetic structure: is sphere. Sphere. It's nice and round. Oh, it kind of sucks. Invisible sphere. Yeah, a sphere. A sphere is the most natural energetic su structure because see, God's a singularity. So God doesn't exactly exist in space and time. God's a singularity. That means it does not occupy any kind of physical space or location. Uh, but in radiation from that invisible no point, energy can come out in a sphere. Everything is equidistant from the center. So that's the most natural energetic form. And so early universe, oh wow, circles everywhere, sweet. You know, atoms, electrons, oh, little circles. We're going to take those little circles and build bigger circles, sweet. Oh, planets, stars, supernovas, circles and spirals. Okay? So that's kind of like the early geometry of the universe. Like everything's made out of circles and spirals. And then, you know, if you add them up, they work over being good tubes. Um, you can put circles together in all kinds of ways and get all kinds of interesting geometry. Because, you know, if you stack a bunch of them together like this, it's like, oh, whoa, this is damn, you've got a star in there or something. That was a crappy star. But anyway, you can make all kinds of geometry with circles and tubes. So that's really geometry of the universe. Okay, so then things are cooling off. You know, things are cooling off and like uh, material structures are forming. And uh, there's a lot of crude matter out there, gases, you know, all kinds of fun stuff going on. And uh, then something really cool happened. It's like, oh, Dad, this is, this is a good one. You know, uh, these things, crystals. I have them here. And just so you know, I'm like the anti new age person with crystals. I don't really believe in all that crystal. Uh, what are crystals? Crystals are the most coherent uh, energy structures of physical matter, or crystals, because they have complex geometry. Cool. And physically, what do crystals do? They uh, transfer energy, right? So you use crystals to make lasers and high-tech machinery and stuff like that because they're really precise and they work with energy really well. And they, you know, they can refract energy and you know they can split light and they can do all kinds of things. You know, crystals, very cool. What else do crystals do? They are organic. They grow. God damn when things grow. Weird. They grow. Crystals grow. Isn't that strange? You know? I mean it's inorganic matter and they grow. It's kind of odd. Um, but they do. Crystals grow. And they uh, transfer energy. They let energy go from kind of one place to another. They move it and they, you know, do geometric things to it. So, you know, this was, this was really cool, you know, when God's like pulling off the universe and uh, 
you know, if it's, these structures are forming crystals, and it's like, God's like, oh, sweet, you know, I can really, I can feel my whole universe now, because I've got all these crystals everywhere, and they're transferring all this energy. And I was like, okay, that's really cool. Um, so, obviously, crystals were something kind of special in that, um, because then, see, crystals transfer energy, you can work with energy with crystals. 